How do you protect yourself, your electronics, your engine, and your 20 to 30 foot sailing sloop from lightning damage? Find out right now. Day sailors and coastal cruisers probably have just a minimum of electronic systems and this is the type of boat we're going to talk about. If you have very complex radar systems and steering systems, it's probably going to be that you're going to need a little bit more than what we're going to talk about right here and right now. The most important thing to protect from lightning strike is you. The second most important thing to save from a lightning strike is your sailboat. Your sailboat is your lifeline. This is Dr. Bob. Today is uh, we're going to do something about light. For the, we're going to prep dunce cap, and also I've got a battery, and I just bought a new a new uh, trolling motor, so I can push myself out there. And of course, we have all the standard stuff that's required. So I'm going to get this all loaded up into. Uh, into Dunce Cap, and we're going to head out to we're going to head out to uh, Tai Tai and try and uh, secure the secure her for a lightning strike. Make sure she's okay. So, because lightning strikes are predominant, really bad in Florida, especially Florida more than any other part of the country. And freshwater lightning strike is more damaging than a saltwater lightning strike. And we have her moored out in the middle of a lake. She's a prime target for lightning strikes. Because Florida used to be the lightning capital of the world, now it's someplace in Africa. Now it's Florida's the second most populous uh, lightning strike uh, place in the world. But uh, you know, more boats get hit here than anywhere else. And they, a lightning strike, you can either survive it, your boat can either survive it, or it can sink it. So let's go make sure Tai Tai doesn't get something. Building over there. Um, has passed the American flag, which they use as a uh, sometimes uses a sailing marker. People sail their boats around. I see the other boats out here. They're doing okay. Saw a new sailboat over that way. I don't know what he's doing. One boat. It's the blue wavy boat. It's got uh, wave wave speed on it. And uh, kid named Justin on that. Boy Scout boat behind that, a guy named Dick. What's that? And then there's Max's cruiser. I'm almost up to high time. So, um, probably should have rowed. I was rowing. But, um, you know, I thought, you know, let's put this in this one. This thing can, um, this thing can go a lot faster than I can. So, anyway, back to steering. Okay, so today is lightning day. Here's the issue. I have um, I have all my chains and anchor rope inside this chain bay. It's actually an anchor rope bay. And uh, one of the big problems is that when lightning strike hits, it comes down it comes down the force day and the back day. Well, here's the force day. And I'm looking, and it really is looking for a path to the water. And uh, the, when I read on Ewan, Ewan Thompson, PhD at the University of Florida, said that it needs an external path, not an internal path. An internal path to the water says it's going inside your boat. Lightning is going inside your boat. The current is going inside your boat. And you're going to be in there in a lightning storm. So you don't want the current in there with you. So he said, choose an external path, the way they do with buildings. Buildings, you're building, you're working, and get struck by lightning. Does it go through your desk? No. It goes on the outside of the building. So that's where you want the lightning to go, the current from lightning strike. The only boat out here. So if there's any good chance of getting hit by lightning strike, this is the place to do it. Fresh water lightning strikes are worse, worse than the saltwater strike. Okay, uh, we're, we're inside of Tai Tai right now. We're in the belly of the, the boat. And uh, it's a little muggy in here, so I've had to open up a, uh, open up a, a forward hatch. 
the chain, the, the, the lightning plate that I'm talking about, I know that this is connected. Here are my, here are my stays. Here's, this is what holds in the stay right here, this guy right here. This holds the, the two, the, the side stays. And um, looking at this, and there is one little cable right here. I thought it was bigger. Or it is then they upgrade to a six gauge. And then if I look at this little cable right here, this looks to be about a uh, 10, 10, maybe eight or 10 gauge wire, which is definitely woefully inadequate for the problems that we have for, for lightning protection. So I'm gonna move these guys out of the way. And uh, this wire, okay, should go. Now that, that's, that's a, okay, now this plate, this plate, and it's a grounding plate, and it's got two grounds here. This goes to the side stays, and this plate is on the outside of the boat. Okay, you can't see it from here, but here's the external connection to it. Now, if I get hit by lightning, is that where I want the lightning bolt to go? The current goes through that wire, which is, again, woefully inadequate, because they're calling even 4-gauge might not be enough, but this is only 8-gauge or 10-gauge. So there's the plate. Uh, let's have a look at another source of trouble. Here's another source of trouble. Okay, that's the chain and anchor rope that you see there is chain and rope. Now, that band up ahead there at the front, that is the, uh, that's what holds the force day. And there are two that's uh, two bolts going through the hull, and if lightning is coming through the force day, which which makes perfect sense for lightning to do that, because because um, then it has nowhere to go except into these chains right here, and from the chains, that also has nowhere to go except through the hull and into the water, and that's what they call the side uh, side strike, and. Uh, or side jump or whatever they're calling it. I can't remember, I'll have to look that up. But right there, that's where the problem is. That chain isn't anchored or tied to anything. It's just tied to this anchor, which is, may or may not be in contact with this, this rim on the side. So that could be a path right there. Not a torches path. And I left a pair of pliers in here. Soaking wet. Well, let's do the things up. So, thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.